All right, let's talk benzotropine, trade name Cogentin. Cogentin, with some time, you're going to understand that Cogentin, the second you hear Cogentin, you're going to think Parkinson's disease. So it's given for treatment of Parkinson's disease. It's actually, what it does is it has anticholinergic properties in the CNS to reduce rigidity and tremors. Okay, so this anticholinergic properties, what it means is it blocks acetylcholine. Okay, so with, with Parkinson's disease, what we know is we have these tremors, okay, these uncontrolled tremors that the patient experiences in their hands, uh, which makes it very difficult for to do basically anything. What benzotropine does is it has this anticholinergic property, okay, so it goes in there and it kind of calms those tremors, okay, so it stops this rigidity and it stops this tremor by blocking the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Okay, that's what anticholinergic means is it kind of blocks this acetylcholine, which can control those tremors or reduce those tremors and that rigidity. So it's therapeutic class is anti-Parkinson agent. Pharmacologic class is anticholinergic. Some things that you need to keep in mind when you give this medication is it can lead to arrhythmias, hypotension, palpitations, and tachycardia. A lot of this is are these anticholinergic effects. Okay, these anticholinergic effects that a patient is going to experience. Remember, we're giving this, this medication to block acetylcholine, we're, get, we're, we're creating these anticholinergic properties, and these anticholinergic effects are constipation, dry mouth, tachycardia. Okay, so these are the things that we're actually kind of can create by giving this anticholinergic medication. What we are going to want to do is we're going to want to assess for extrapyramidal symptoms as well. We're going to want to watch for any sort of uh, neuro tics or, or lip smacking, things like that. And we're going to instruct the patient to take the medication exactly as directed and to take it as it was prescribed. We're going to want to also instruct the patient to maintain good oral hygiene. Okay, it's very important that a patient taking benzotropine is maintaining good oral hygiene. The thing that you're going to be tested most likely on with benzotropine and the thing you're going to want to watch out most of all are going to be these anticholinergic uh, side effects. The constipation, the dry mouth, the tachycardia. Okay, so what I really just want you to keep in mind here with benzotropine is that it's going to block the neurotransmitter acetylcholine you know, which means anticholinergic properties. And it's, by doing that, it's going to reduce the tremors and the rigidity that these patients experience with Parkinson's disease. All right, so that's just a really quick review, and that has been Zotropin. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. The MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com, coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing.